Adobe Illustrator is actually a very, very powerful illustration drawing tools that a lot of professional graphic artists and graphic designer is using it all over the world. But for start to understand and get ourselves familiarized with Illustrator, we want to start with drawing something really simple like maybe a smiley face as well as since we are talking about UI UX design, we want to draw this thing called um, sitemap that then we can actually learn about how to snap at the certain point, anchor point, and how to align so that our boxes and everything will appear in order in sequence. Let's learn about some of these basic tools that Illustrator offer then before we go into something much more complex. When we start Adobe Illustrator, this is what we get. So just click on create new to start a new file. Then Illustrator will load up this new document page that asks you to start your artboard. Since we are going to draw a sitemap, so I'll just probably use a web and this 1024 as my artboard size. And it's 1920 by 1080 that is a HD, HD size. Um, don't care about bleeding because we're not doing anything about print. Then um, RGB is okay. So simply click create. Then Illustrator will create this new empty canvas file for us to work on. We'll start by dropping a box first by clicking on this. We, um, this tool is pretty much similar like rectangle tool and then this rounded rectangle tool. We'll start with rectangle tool and we'll draw a box somewhere on top. That will be our home page box. Then as you can see that there's this corner, this is actually to pull out the radius. You can change the radius by this, pull all the way down, you'll get a full complete uh, rounded edges box. Or you can actually simply have a little bit rounded radius corner, something like that. That will look nice. Then we want to drop a text called home page. The text size is a bit small, so we want to increase it maybe to 24 pixel. 24 is still small, then maybe 36, that's fine. So align center so that we get this. So as you notice that you align center, align left or right, there's this big, bigger blue dot that um, is actually here. Now it's on the right side since I align right. And when you align center, it actually goes to the center. This We call this anchor point. So you want to bring this anchor point to somewhere near the box, center of the box. Then you notice that when, when you bring it near to the center, Illustrator automatically bring out this purple color line that actually shows you that um, it actually snapped to the center. So this is called snapping. Snapping helps us to align object much, much easier than um, freeform. So in case that your snapping is off, you can actually turn it on here. Snap to pixel, snap to point. That's what you want. All right, so we have our home page done. Next, we want to duplicate this. So simply select this and then press and hold your option key while you click and drag the mouse. That will simply duplicate the item that you select and then drag. So we want to duplicate four since we have four pages according to our sketches. So we want to drag this and then somewhere here we'll do and then repeat one more and repeat one more. There's the four subsection. This one we want to edit, double click on it and change it to about us. And then we double click on this again and this will be products. And double click on the text for the third one to change it to events. And the last one would be contact us. So once we are done with it, simply click on this select icon. Then that will drop the selection. Now we are free to move. So in order to have all these aligned nicely, let's group them together. We have to select this and then right click, group. Select this, right click and then group them. Select this, right click and group. Select this, the first one, right click and group. The reason why to do this is because when we select these four items, we want them to be four groups of items instead of eight individual objects. Then we can select them and then after that, um, simply do this horizontal distribute center. It will distribute all the boxes to the center. Next, we want to draw maybe under products. There's three products according to my paper. So under here, I will just simply do a duplicate of this. I want to bring it slightly to the right a bit. And then this will be product one. And then press and hold this option while you drag. Click and drag your mouse. 
product tool and then the last one click and drag as you can see when i bring it down illustrator is smart enough to tell me that hey you actually want it to um, have the margin uh, space at 30 pixel for both so this is actually very helpful for us to do alignment especially charts and graphs so we want to change this to products one double click on it space one to edit and then when we're done simply click on this selection tool double click outside now we want to select this and double click on it to go inside the group okay then we can edit the group item space two and then when we are done selection and double click again to, to deselect to come out from the group now we want to go into this group double click again go into the group and double click again on the text to edit the text once we are done click on this selection to double click again to get out from the tools now we have our chart almost done we want to link them out okay we want to link them out using this pen tool of course we can simply just draw a line and then um, something like this and then after that have this select, select and have this turn into line right so that will do but it's really very ugly it's not nice so what we want illustrator to do for us is to snap them at the center of each box simply click on this pen tool and bring it near the center of the box and you notice that illustrator will actually snap your point illustrator is smart enough to know that when we want to go near this and we want it to snap at the intersect point of the line Let's click on this go up slightly see when you move it out you can actually shift it shift it left and right you can actually press and hold shift key to lock the axis the locking of axis go by 45 degree now to go on top 0 degree 45 degree 90 and then and so on you'll just lock by 45 degree that actually helps a lot just bring it slightly to the top here and click to drop another anchor point bring it somewhere near the last box now you know that you see when you bring it nearer it actually pop and intersect you know that we want to center align this to the last box click and then drop to the line and intersect and finish the line so the last one you notice that the pen actually have this tail to continue because illustrator does not know that whether you want to continue or you want to end there so if i can want to continue i can simply click here which i i don't want to do that now let me undo i just want it to end here so in order to break this tail so you can actually press escape key so that will end the line so this is the line that we just constructed now we want to construct this from the center of this box home bring it down and touch the intersect of the line and then again press escape to end the tail now you can see that we have our linkages line done so let's finish up the rest okay near bring to near the center of the uh, box and click here bring it and press and hold shift and bring it up click on the intersect that's one escape key and then another one here and touch the line and click and escape key that's it now let's finish the last part which is the products category and the products page just bring it somewhere near here click on it to bring it down all the way to the last one i want it to center align with this box vertically so i click on here so now i've linked up this now i want to drop the tail pressing escape then i want to start from here near the center of the second box and press here and press escape to end it and the last one press here and click here then press escape so that is our sitemap for this simple website of course you can do things like making it nicer by changing the width of the boxes to make the boxes thicker or simply change select all the lines that you just draw and then have the line thicker as well so that might work as well so it's up to you how you want, want to draw it or even change the typeface. That's how we draw a simple diagram using Illustrator with the snap tools and with the alignment tool. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.